Hi everyone, today I would present about the internalization of external effects in the term of ecological economics. First, let's talk about what is ELO ecological economics. Ecological economics is used in definition of a subject that is concerned with controlling economic activities in a way that promote human well-being, sustainability, and fairness. And it also analyzes the problem that and attempt to understand and resolve the whole system. Moving on to the concept of internalization of external effects. Uh, internalization of external effect is the process by which the private cost of a firm's production are adjusted to include the social cost of externalities produced by that firm. So, the internalization of external effect concept will take the impact of a product and services to calculate the price which includes the cost of production. For example, when we consider market price for products such as cars and gasoline, we usually calculate all costs that the company have to produce the products. Normally, it includes cars, gasoline, add up with the market price and tax. Uh, but this car don't reflect all costs that result from the usage of the car and gasoline. Uh, because the cost of human health impacts and in environmental pollution are not included. However, if we adding up all these costs to car and gasoline, it will lead us to what uh, the ecological economists call the real cost. Uh, but the internalization of external effects resulting in higher price of the products. For example, uh, the cigarette would be much more expensive if the cost of cancer treatment associated with smoking those cigarettes were factored in. According to the market supply and demand principle, the demand for cigarettes would automatically fall due to the rising of the cigarette price. And the next part I will talk about why internalization of external effects is ethically relevant in a business context. The first thing is that uh, this concept helps to restore and protect the environment. Uh, and also, it compensates for the well-being of those who got negative effect from the externalities. Um, for the restoring and protecting the environment, um, the tax that uh, the government receives from the business operator will use uh, for restoring and protecting the environment. For example, carbon tax and garbage disposal fees. Uh, these tax measures are meant to enable producer or operator of the economic activities to bear with social costs or the cost of the environment impact in resulting from its production activities herein to be included at a, as a part of production cost which will make the company or entrepreneurs or more environmental conscious. The next one is compensated for the well-being of those who got negative effect from the externalities. For this one, the practical example would, would be the internalization of noise surrounding airport in ticket costs. Imagine uh, the company asks a random group of one uh, of people within a one kilometer radius of an airport. How much would they spend per year to no longer be subject to airline noise pollution? The number of persons who live within a 1 km radius would be multiplied by the average amount spent on noise reduction. This sum could be added to all plane ticket purchased within a year for flight departing and landing at this airport. When broken down to individual tickets, a higher ticket price would internalize the external effect of noise. The price of the ticket would rise somewhat and fewer tickets would be purchased. The money collected from the traveler might be used to compensate people living within a 1 km radius of an airport. People who live within a 1 km radius may spend the money that they got from the government or the company on noise proofing windows or buy a property somewhere else in the wrong run. And that is the end of my presentation. Thank you.